In a manuhiri on a ho e fa, in a waka on a ta e fa, in a karangaranga maha, e te whanau, e te whanau whanui, e te iwi whanui, in a iwi o te motu, in a manuhiri tuarangi, tina koto, tina koto, tina koto katoa. Ko whutere te moanga, ko rokoa te moana, ko tainui te waka, ko nati toaranga tira te iwi, ko Helena Evans Thompson taku ingoa. Firstly, I'd like to say welcome to all of the graduates, to all of your friends and family, to the Chancellor, to the Vice-Chancellor, and all of the academic staff that have helped all of us in our journey to this night tonight. Tonight is a time for us to reflect on where we started, the years of hard work that we have all put in to get here, and on where we are now, standing as alumni of Te Heringa Waka, Victoria University of Wellington. I'm sure like most of you, I was not sure we would even get to this day. 2020 has been a year of surprises and a year of expectations that have taken unexpected turns. This year has brought adversity and challenges the like that our generation and previous generations beforehand have not seen in many a lifetime. However, I believe that Te Waka has provided us a platform to face that adversity and confront these challenges head on. We will confront them with a sense of purpose and vigour derived from our time, learnings and experiences in our journey at Victoria University. Victoria University of Wellington is a diverse community, a unique assemblance of people from different backgrounds, different upbringings and different journeys who have come together for the shared purpose of attaining their respective goals. We are lucky to have studied in a university and in a city that embraces this diversity with open arms. Our university experience has challenged us to broaden our thinking, to look at each situation with an analytical eye, to think critically and ask the hard questions, and to continuously acknowledge all perspectives. With a wide vision, we go into the world with new tools in our kete, ready to embrace the world head on and all the opportunities that come with it. Throughout my time so far at Victoria, I have met so many wonderful and unique individuals through programs such as Afina, through Pacifica mentoring programs, through tutoring through Victoria International, or simply getting involved in the cultural weeks that staff and students organise. The opportunity to connect to and embrace my own heritage, as well as learning about that of others, has given me the chance to widen my view of the world and appreciate everyone for both our differences and our similarities. Being at university gives us a unique opportunity to build meaningful relationships with each other, to become a part of different communities and to participate in an environment where we can receive and share our collective knowledge to help each other su succeed. I feel so lucky to have created and built on so many new relationships through my time at Victoria. And these are relationships that I'm sure will last a lifetime. Whether it be meeting through a campus coach tour on the very first day of university, continuing friendships that started during high school, or considering in the pain of weekly six hour labs, the people you share your university journey with are truly what make the journey so special. And I can say that at least for myself, I've been surrounded by a bunch of fun and brilliant minds who helped each other endure the grinds of exam season and equally helped in the subsequent celebrations after finally finishing. They say the people that you meet during university stay with you for a lifetime, and I believe that to definitely be the case. As graduates from the Faculty of Science, we are paving the way to making a difference to our generation and hopefully the generations beyond. I know it may sound cliche, but amongst those of you sitting in this room tonight could be people who could change the world. I think that the majority of us here chose to do science not because it's easy, but for the challenge and for the opportunity to be able to make a difference. When I started my degree in biomedical science, I had no idea where I would end up. I simply knew I enjoyed biology and had always imagined that I would end up in an area that was important to me, where I knew that in some shape or form, I could make a difference to someone else's life. Four years later, I had ventured on to undertaking a master's in biomedical science in the field of cancer research. Victoria has allowed me to continue to strive for success in an area that means a lot to myself and to my family. As the newest generation of scientists, we are part of the solution and part of the future. In this room could be someone who helps perfect the COVID vaccine, could be the person who helps in our plight to fight against climate change, or the person who synthesizes the next anti-cancer drug. In this room, we have the next generation of physicists, of computer scientists, and of marine biologists. Everyone in this room has put in the hours and potentially tears to get to where we are tonight. I know it has taken a while to get here, but I hope that everyone in this room is immensely proud of where they are sitting tonight. It is no mean feat completing any degree, let alone a science degree, and we go forward with the skills and attributes that could literally change the world. I want to leave you with a short proverb or fakatoki that I've recently learned. 
Ko te manu i kaiana i te mero nona te nahere. Ko te manu i kaiana i te mataranga nona te ao. The bird that eats the thread belongs to the forest. The bird that feeds on knowledge owns the world. Through university, we have obtained the knowledge and the expertise to succeed in our respective fields. It is up to us to feed on that knowledge now, to go out into the world embracing all the opportunities that we have and that we can create, and use our time at Victoria as a stepping stone to get there. I challenge everyone in this room to dream big, to believe that you can own the world with your knowledge whilst remembering everyone who helped you get there. When asking my peers what advice they would give to their younger selves leaving university, they said simply, be kind, be compassionate, and work hard to achieve your goals, not those of others. Then the world will be your oyster. Thank you very much.